Tonight's big story, human remains found in a Phoenix home set on fire. It is the same home where DCS removed three children from their parents' custody earlier this month. Those parents are now behind bars charged with child abuse. And at this hour, investigators are trying to figure out whose remains they found. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us live from the Alert Center with what we're learning and how this all surfaced. Rachel. Yeah, guys, this story certainly has a lot of moving parts. The biggest move, though, getting those kids out of that home before it caught fire. And it all started with a welfare check on one of those kids last week. This is uh, Rafael Loera, 529, 1963. Done nothing to prevent the abuse of the victims. Rafael Loera going before a judge facing a slew of charges. He allegedly admitted that he knew that it was happening and he allegedly admitted that he left the victims in the uh, care of the co-suspect, knowing that the abuse was happening. The co-suspect, Rafael's wife, Mary Bell, also charged with child abuse after their 11-year-old called police scared and home alone. That's just one of several shocking allegations. He is also alleged to have admitted to have hidden a corpse to hide uh, the guilt of both it, the alleged guilt of both himself and the co-suspect. Police say firefighters found the human remains after putting out flames in the home near 59th Avenue in Camelback. He is alleged to have admitted to setting a fire, I believe to uh, end his own life and to uh, allegedly burn uh, his home down. The fire starting roughly an hour after Child Protective Services removed two other children from the house, a nine-year-old boy and a four-year-old girl. It's just horrible, just scary. Neighbors telling 12 News they didn't even know children live there and are disgusted by the allegations. We know violence, we know all of this, but like it's never been as close, it's never been as bad. And a lot of information is currently sealed to protect the victims who are minors in this case. Meanwhile, Rafael, the father, is due back in court next week. We're live in the Alert Center. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10. Okay, Rachel, thanks.